Once again, we've got some kind of longish answer choices, maybe a sciencey passage. Let's just dive right in and, and see what we get. To understand how Paleolithic artists navigated dark caves, archaeologist Ma Angela, I don't, what is this even doing? I don't know. This person and her team tested different lightning, lighting methods in a cave in Spain using replicas of artifacts found in European caves with art. So how do they navigate dark caves? I don't know. We're testing different lights. They used three different Paleolithic light sources, torches, animal fat, lamps, and fireplaces, determining that each likely had a specific purpose. For instance, the team learned that the animal fat lamps were less useful than torches while walking because the lamps didn't illuminate the cave floor. So, okay, uh, looking back, okay, they had the specific purpose. So what did they find? Not, they're just different, that's all. So let's take a look at the choices. Uh, this person and her team study uh, demonstrated that fireplaces were essential to the creators of Paleolithic cave arts. Well, this is already doing something that I think is going to happen in a lot of the answer choices, which is they're starting to rank these things. Did the passage say that one of them was better? They tested different things, but notice they never came to a conclusion to say the best way to illuminate the caves was to use a torch, to use a fireplace, whatever. They are just saying they had different purposes. Not that one is better, just that they're different, right? And that's a very key thing. Things can be different without one being better or worse than the others. So um, they're not ranking them, but also words like essential bother me no matter what. Whenever I see them in a, in a choice, anything that talks about something being required or necessary makes me scared. It's not always wrong, but it's, it's a big claim and we need to back that up with the passage. We definitely don't have that information here. Medina Al Said and her team discovered that Paleolithic cave artists in Spain used animal fat lamps more often than they used torches. Again, we're ranking. Did we rank? No, we didn't rank in the passage, but also now we're bringing that concept of time. And I don't think the passage brought in time either. It wasn't saying what they, I guess, still a rank, right? Which one they use more or less often. That's just not part of this. See, these people were reluctant to draw many conclusions from their study because of the difficulty they had replicating light sources based on known artifacts. Well, this is tempting, right? It, it's not taking a stand. It's not saying that one was better or worse than the others. Uh, I'm a little bit bothered by the word difficulty. That's very negative, and I... I don't have a negative connotation to this passage, right? It, it, it was much more neutral. You know, it, it was just, here's what we did, here's the study, here's what we found, right? It, there's no kind of connotation at all. And, and that's been the case for lots of these passages, right? They don't have a strong pull, that's okay. Neutral is a connotation. So it'd be weird then to have this kind of bland, neutral passage summarized with a very negative choice. So I don't love that, but maybe, I don't know, maybe I missed something. Let's look at D. These people tested Paleolithic light sources and learned some details about how Paleolithic artists traveled within dark caves. Yeah, they learned some details. Notice, they're not getting into the specifics about the details. They're not saying that they found one thing was better than another. They're just saying they did an experiment. They learned some things from the experiment. Nice and vague and weak. And this is why I don't want you reading these passages trying to memorize every single detail. Because very often on SATs, the best answer leaves out all of those details. And so you need to, first of all, save your brain power, but also I don't want you thinking that D is wrong because it leaves out details, because it's it feels like it's not a good answer that, com that uh, sufficiently summarizes the passage. Very often, this is what a summary does. It leaves out details and gets to the core of what we're doing. So don't try to fit all the pieces of information into a choice. So weak answers tend to be right in the SAT. I think we've got proof of that right here.